Yeah, hi there. This is just a continuation from the um, rendering shadows to a different layer uh, from the previous video. Um, so as you can see, I've changed the model slightly, but um, so this is what the um, one layer looks like. Um, just the shadows, and if we go to the uh, cube layer, you can see we have that. And uh, we also have the final um, combined, so that's the the image with the layers. Now you are allowed to laugh because I laughed because I had this big plane, and um, so it looks like a very very fake photograph. But you can see how the the uh, shadow is actually working on that um, final render, I guess, of the image. So. I just thought I'd keep it there as a chuckle. So anyway, that's um, so. Just some of the things that I um, had, some of the settings I needed to do to get all this working. I'll quickly show you. Uh, so the first of all, first one was I needed to set and render. I had to come into film and uh, make sure that we had transparent ticked. Um, now the second important one was in the view layer here um, I needed to make sure under light um, like the shadow environment and ambient inclusion so those were ticked because what that means if we zoom in over here on our um, nodes uh, on the left here we have shadow ambient inclusion environment there so they don't actually appear um, on this node unless you have those ticked on the right um, when you render them, uh, so the third, so the third thing was, I mean, obviously, up the top here, I was on um, in camera view. I had a background image, um, and the camera up the top, I uh, selected the camera, came into the camera settings on the right here, and just changed that type to orthographic, um, and. I wanted to also make sure that my um, my model, uh, the models looked uh, on scale into the photograph. So I took, I just made a note of what the photograph resolution was, and then came over to the output settings on the right and just changed my X and Y settings to match the photograph as well. Um, so uh, that helped a lot as well. So. Basically, I'll just take this backdrop off so you can probably see this a bit better. Um, so this is the rest of the... Um, so we have our... On the left we have our, um, our source image. Um, we have our render layer uh, for the cube. And, the, and then we have the view layer plane uh, render layer as well. And basically we're connecting that up with, um, so we could start at the bottom here for the, um, the plane or the shadow lane, the bottom, bottom left. We're, we're basically coming into a, uh, actually I'll put the backdrop on because uh, we've got our alpha, alpha overs here. And if you, if I change the factor, you can see the um, shadows dropping off. So it actually starts up off with the sh uh, the factor up here. So you got to make sure that you drop the factor down so you can get your um, start to see the shadow. So that that's the first little trick there. Um, and then you come up to a subtract node. So uh, you got your alpha connecting, um, and then a set alpha, and then we've, then we've got an alpha over. Um, and from the alpha over you can go directly to this this last alpha over before you go to the outputs. Um, I just chucked in a a little transform there because um, this is if you want to you can just you can adjust where your um, object appears within the image so I mean I know you can do it up the top as well but sometimes uh, if you just You've got your, um, so if we, let's see if that um, render is there. So, yeah, so you can actually have this 
I can adjust this and this will move over to the right as well or down so um, we could try moving this let's okay so if we go negative um, let's go negative uh, 200 let's drop it down let's just okay it's just com it's compositing now let's just see if that's uh, yeah, so you can see that's on our main source, um, our main final image. It's dropped that down as well. So it's just a little, uh, little trick that I thought was quite cool. All right, hopefully that was uh, useful. Okay, thanks for watching.